is it getting hot in here? <laughs> or is it just me? They could have gone a little bit more. <laughs> it's getting hot in here. So take off all of your cones. <laughs> that would have been so good! Guys, that would have been so great! Little known fact, when she takes off the cape and mask, she goes by the name Penelope, get it? Because she's a P? Uh -huh. Alright. I think I'm going to have to rate that one. Two out of ten. <laughs> it's kind of cringe. Penelope, that's the best you could do. It's not bad. Alright, moving right along. We're setting the bar pretty low here. Next. Our solar flare. When she's on fire, she's on fire. And so are the zombies. Uh, next. <laughs> the ratings in the, the flavor text in PVZ1, I remember, were like home runs. We'll see how many home runs. We'll see if the same writer who was actually writing these from the original PVZ1 staff, we'll see if he was actually uh, still working for them at the time they made PVZ Heroes. All right. He's a great guy. He just sometimes has a hard time coming out of his shell. <laughs> All right. That's a little bit better than the other ones, but nothing too impressive. We're going to go. Four out of ten for that. Not bad. Nothing to write home about. Keep it going. Chompzilla. She flosses after every meal, and still, zombie breath is a real problem. Mm. Come on, where are the good ones? Let's go. <laughs> you have to give that one three out of ten. Moving right along. Spit out. Always tries to keep his head in tough situations. Always loses it. Okay, it's not bad because he loses his head. Mm, what do you guys think, chat? I'm going to say 4 out of 10. Moving on. Where's the good ones? Chat Let's go. My money. Thank Just you, Master Moly. Just for a TV with a volume stuck on high. Couldn't turn that off or down. <laughs> Very funny. Thank you, Master Moly, for the $5 donation. And the dad joke. All right. Wanted to be a poet, but couldn't find anything that rhymed with orange. Now, Eminem very much disagrees with this because what rhymes with orange is the word storage, obviously uh, rhymes with orange. Don't ask questions, guys. This is a pretty good pop culture reference, so I'm gonna give it five out of 10. I'm still, still waiting for the, oops. I'm still waiting for the really, really good one. Let's go. I'm being pretty, pretty harsh on these ratings here. I'm not gonna take anything under under real perfection. I, I think PVZ1 really set the bar high for the flavor text. He's the best at what he does. And what he does is punching. <laughs> okay. Uh not much originality there. I'll just give that one four out of ten, because at least it's not cringe. Next. Alright, nightcap. He's a fun guy. <laughs> Okay, that's actually not bad. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give that one. That's a nice solid dad joke. Get it? Because a fun guy is a mushroom. Because of how solid of a dad joke that is, I'm actually giving that nine out of ten. That is by far, by far the best one up to this point. Moving right along. It's not cringe at all. That's a great dad joke. I don't care. Next, refused refuses to be nerfed. What does that even mean? Is this like, first of all, you don't need to nerf Rose because she's not one of the best heroes in the game. Um, is this like a, a Garden Warfare 2 reference? To be honest, I don't get it. Uh, and I'm going to be giving this one. I'll, I'll, I'm going to actually give like one point of rating just be, for the benefit of the doubt that I just don't get this joke. It must be a Garden Warfare 2 reference where they like everyone was asking her to get nerfed and she didn't. But it's a Garden Warfare 2 joke. Well... I tried Garden Warfare 2, and it's not my fault that game sucks. <laughs> Sorry <laughs> to have everyone unsubscribes. Wow. I didn't like Garden Warfare 2. People tell me I would like Garden Warfare 1. Garden Warfare 2 just seemed like a, a shooting fest to me. But anyway. Uh, uncultured swine, I know, right? All right, here's Captain Combustible. If you want to see him blow his top, try calling him Stumpy. Go on. <laughs> try it. Okay. Okay, that's not, like, that original, but it's not horrible. I, I kind of hear what they're doing. I'm going to give that one 7 out of 10. And let's keep it going. 
All right, Beta Caratina. As leader of the Planetary Guard... Oh my gosh, I'm cringing so hard already. I can't even do it. She's ready to root out zombies wherever they crop up. <laughs> oh! Boom, boom, boom. And unfortunately, just like all things Beta Caratina, uh, we're going to have to write this one 0 out of 10. That was the cringiest piece of trash I've ever seen in my life. Are you kidding me? Who wrote this? Next. All right, time to get into the actual car. Should I go? The superpowers actually have flavored text too? Okay, fine, we'll do the superpowers. Here we go. I guess I'll start with the ultimate ones, and then we'll go on to the other ones. Green Shadow's approach is right down the middle. Oh, that's actually not that bad. We're gonna give that one a solid five out of 10. Not great, but mm, I think I'll actually give that six out of 10. That, that's, that's a meta joke, you gotta understand the game. All right, I'll give that one a six. Wow, I didn't realize the superpowers. This thing's gonna take a long time. Whirlwind. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. What is this a reference to? To um to El to not Alice in Wonderland, the other one. Wizard of Oz, right? I've actually never seen the Wizard of Oz from beginning to end, so uh, maybe I should do that at some point. But anyway, okay, okay, solid pop culture reference. That's solid. I like it. I'm actually gonna give that. Gonna give that. 8 out of 10. Whoever wrote that was a real dad. You're not my real dad. All right, keep it going. Living large. Oh, yeah. How about living lame? Oh, yeah. Seriously. 2 out of 10. Really, really sad. I wonder if I should stop blinking this off the thing every single time. I think I, I, think I will. It's just go, making this go too slow. All right, we did that one already. Okay, we'll go with Solar Flare now. Oh my gosh. All right, what else we got? Solar Flare never met a sunscreen strong enough to stop her. I'm just going to keep that right at 2 out of 10. That's pretty lame. Weed Whack. Good for weeding out zombies. And 0 out of 10. <laughs> keep it going. More spore. One good mushroom deserves another. Zero out of ten. Next! <laughs> Scorched Earth. Unfortunately, the zombies were all out of SPF 9000. What the heck even is that? What does that even mean? SPF 9000? Anybody? Alright, zero out of ten. <laughs> Solar Flare's powers suck. In terms of flavored text, that is. All right, Wall Knight. Wall Knight laughs. A thousand broken nutcrackers tell the story. Okay, okay, okay. Four out of ten. Nothing that creative, but keep it going. Geyser. H2O. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Who wrote this? That's a two out of ten. This is such cringe. Call on Walnut anytime. His schedule is wide open. Because because you crack a nut. Oh my gosh. They could have at least made a, a Dark Knight reference there, but no. They just had to they just had to screw that one up. Alright, next. Who doesn't like bubbles? Zombies, that's who. Well, zero out of ten. <laughs> uh Holoflora. You got plants. Is this an AOL reference? Because this is what the AOL icons look like? Oh, man. Okay, Boomer. Uh, I'm going to just give this one, like, just, like, Boomer out of 10 here. This is perfect. <laughs> All right. Next. That must be an AOL reference, right? Because the, oh, I think some of the old AOL icons used to look a little bit like this design. Oh, my gosh. Um, what else you got? Chomzilla enjoys eating zombies whole. She does not enjoy the ingestion that follows. Who? Okay, Boomer. We're just going to keep that up. Okay, Boomer. Next. Oh, my gosh. Save me. Bad for your picnic. Good for your plants. All right. We're just keeping it on Boomer for that one. <laughs> you would think this would be especially effective against zombies riding dinosaurs. Oh, too soon! Too soon! 
Okay, it's actually not too soon. That's about a billion years too late. But that's actually that's actually a really, really solid one. So I'm actually going to give that one our very first 10 out of 10. Because that's pretty harsh. That's actually not a bad flavored text. Come on, guys. 10 out of 10 for Meteor Strike. Way too soon. I think if it's ever, like, offensive humor, even though, well, who are you going to offend with that? Dinosaurs? But anyway. Spadow is one tranquil tuber. Still, sometimes he loses his head. All right, and we're going straight from that to zero out of ten. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Pretty freaking lame. All right. Who else we got? Citron Super. Orange, you glad Citron is here to protect you? <sighs> and that one's going to be cringe out of 10. Thank you very much, everybody. <laughs> Next. Oh, we got Transmogrify. It's a life-changing experience, actually. It's an everything-changing experience. Okay, cringe. What else we got? A good way to root for the plants. Somebody kill me. Damn, these suck. Come on, Mike Tyson reference. Knuckle sandwiches for all of my enemies. Such cringe. Best card in the game, what do we got? Makes you feel a warm, glowy, and like kicking zombie butt. Come on, I gotta get some good ones. Let's go. <laughs> Nightcap and his mushroom friends are not to be truffled with. Okay. Okay, we're getting somewhere here. We're getting somewhere with that one. We're gonna get that out of we'll get that out of cringe tier. Now it's not the greatest pun in the world, but as a dad, I believe that deserves at least four out of ten. Truffled with decent. Okay, this is back. Come on. This is easy. This is like the PvZ Heroes easy target. This has gotta be good. Rose turns zombies into goats because Goats. I'm very disappointed. Extremely disappointed. Oh, I don't think we... Did we do Big Chill? I think I missed Big Chill with Green Shadow for some reason. Discerning plants agree. Zombies are best served on ice. Another 0 out of 10. That doesn't mean anything to me. Relatability is... We all just do a relatability one. Ugh. All right, come on, come on, come on. Captain Combustible knows how to light a fire under his teammates. Who cares? Jesus. Was George Fan the writer of all the flavored text back in the original Plant vs. Zombies? <laughs> that was too soon. They should have made a George Fan reference. His name was Fan, right? All right, here's this is going to be extra cringe because this was even written later. Uh, all right, genetic amplification. The modifications are controversial, sure, but the results are hard to argue with. Zero out of ten. His mighty tractor beam is straight off the farm and out of this world. Beta Caratina knows she can always count on him to get to the root of the problem. Man, the originality is killing me. Make the jump to light seed. It's like a Star Trek reference. I'll give that one out of ten just because they actually acknowledge some pop culture reference. It just wasn't a very good one. Jesus. Alright, I'm happy that's over. Let's get to the cards. Forget me nuts. I'd forget my own flower if it wasn't stuck to my head. Wait, what were we talking about? Because it's forget-me-nuts? You couldn't make like a Rick and Morty reference or something? I don't know. Is this actually a Rick and Morty reference? I don't know. Next. Galactic Cactus. Thank you so much, Doggy Blue, for subscribing. I take pity on no one, for I am Galactacactus. Does anyone get that? What is this? Vampires, they're the worst. 
I don't like to use the word hate, but yeah, I hate him. Zero out of ten. This is getting worse and worse as it goes on. I think when we might get to like the set one cards, they're gonna be a little bit better. When you think of responsibility, think of grapes. This is actually not going to be rating the flavor text. This is going to be Plants vs. Zombies Try Not to Cringe Edition. This is cringy AF. I actually can flip through the cards, I realize. I don't have to be constantly clicking in and out of them. All right, we're just going to make a Try Not to Cringe challenge right now. The galaxy is one beautiful melody, so play. I'm starchy and explosive. Hidden long ago in Hollow Earth, dinosaurs ran rampant in the land before mine. Is that a, in the land before time? Oh my gosh. How do we rate if I'm cringing? Okay, let's say I'm not allowed to, I'm not allowed to like, like, like tighten my jaw or, or wince my eyes. We're going to try this now. A violin ver, oh my gosh, how do you pronounce this word? Small Nut began taking lessons when he was still in the shell. <laughs> Sorry, oh, I just cringed again. <laughs> Damn it. I try to warn them. This is going to be, this is going to sting, but the zombies, they never listen. Don't cringe, Fry. <laughs> Don't do it. Works well with others. Says so right there on his resume. <laughs> Damn it, I did it again. Okay, here we go. It's true. I'm prickly on the outside, but spongy on the inside. Keep it going. Who's a good vegetable? You are. Yes, you. <laughs> made, the, made the softest fabric for that gentle plant touch. Made of the softest fabric. I can't read. I'm cringing at myself now. Must destroy graves. Wow. You know what? I, I'm actually like regretting doing this right now because this is painful. I, you know, I was kind of wondering, as I mentioned at the beginning, why I haven't been reading these flavored texts. And I, I think I realized the reason now. I haven't had a reason to. He's a hot commodity on dating sites such as, okay, e-gardening, that's e-harmony, thatch.com, okay, and okay tulip. This is not bad, actually. I'm going to give that a solid 8 out of 10 because they're actually trying something there. I'm like, okay, stupid. Got him. That's actually not bad. Maybe the event cards have good flavor text. We're going to see. Maybe there was like we can figure out who the writers were. And we'll look at their uh, their freaking LinkedIn profiles. And we'll... I should do it, make a cringe counter. All right. What's better than a walnut? A walnut in a suit of armor. That's what. I'm a kind of ice cream. Sort of. Because there's pistachio flavored ice cream. Is it controversial? Teaches swimming lessons to disadvantaged plants in his spare time. Why? I'm trying to make like a political statement or something. Oh yeah, none of these are 8 out of 10 by the way. These are all still cringe. These are all cringe out of 10. Quite similar to the region known as Pokey Province. <laughs> Beta Caratina tracked Hugh Giganticus down the tunnel Meteor Z opened to Hollow Earth. Carrots there had evolved in a very different direction. It almost seems like all the colossal cards are like lower on the bottom instead of even like trying to do a dad joke. 300 laps a day every day. That's how I do it. He always skips leg day. You couldn't do anything. <laughs> okay, that's actually not bad. Five out of ten. Because he doesn't have legs. Hmm. Very original. Next. Don't poke the berry. What is this a reference to? This sounds so familiar.
Well, what is this a reference to again? Don't poke the bear? Oh. It's just a reference to real life? Is that a pop culture reference? Don't poke the bear? What is that from? Don't poke. Dumb, dumb ways to die? Okay, I never played that. I probably played that for about five minutes and got super bored. Okay. Well, it's probably five out of ten. I don't get it, though. All right. Of course beans, beans evolved gills. How else would they breathe underwater? <laughs> Mission fail. Mom was a pea shooter. Dad was a nut. Everyone said it wouldn't work, but they were wrong. <laughs> That's actually very solid. I'm giving that 9 out of 10. I never really thought... I, I never actually knew that that was the explanation of peanut, but he really does look like a mix between a pea and a nut. I mean, I knew he was a peanut plant, but I, I didn't understand that they were actually talking about a, a pea shooter banging a nut, and this was the illegitimate child. <laughs> I didn't know that, and that's very brave of them. I'm giving that nine points just for bravery. <laughs> it's pretty damn good. All right, next. So cute and cuddly, and wait, what's that growling sound? All right, we're back to cringe tier. Just right back. Past job experience includes shooing away creepy fog. Original Plants vs. Zombies reference. Oh, you're so precious. Still pretty lame, but I feel like these all could have been written better. Primal Walnut. You can't be destroyed by a rolling stone when you basically are a rolling stone. That's so meta. Now, it's not a very good joke, but we're going to give them three points just for an attempt at meta humor, which is the highest form of comedy. Build your house on a solid foundation, they said. Build your house on a pumpkin. And we're right back to zero. The bigger they are, the harder they go boom. Don't let his gruff exterior fool you. He's always looking out for the little guy. She's got nerves of steel and everything else of steel. <laughs> Why? They say two heads are better than one. Three nut just took the next evolutionary step. See, I feel like they could have not said evolutionary in order to fit the colossal theme and just say, Three Nut just took that to a whole nother level. That would have actually been funny, but this one was fine. I'll give you three points just for trying. Anyway. Blockbuster. They call it a graveyard. She calls it a buffet. I feel like they could have taken a shot and said, like, <laughs> went bankrupt in 2009 or something like that. Come on, man. Come on, PopCap. A staunch believer in numerology? He'll go on at length about the significance of number three if you let him. Who cares? It's a force of nature. That should have been a zombie environment. Technically, I'm a food, not a plant. Why? Oh, because guacamole isn't actually a plant. An avocado is. Who cares? Dressed up as a mirror ball for a disco theme party, never looked back. This is actually pretty solid. We're giving that one six out of ten. That's a pretty good explanation for how mirror now. This doesn't make any sense. All right, you hurt me, I hurt you. That's how this works. Somebody's had a difficult relationship lately. I do stretching exercises every morning, he says. It's important to stay physically and mentally nimble. His destiny is written in the starch. Okay, that's the one. I'm done. I can't take it anymore. Even Cherim Up's having a fit. 
This is the cr- I've never read this before. This was the cringiest card in the game before that happened. Now? Are you kidding me? Oh. Oh. I can't take it. I, I can't take it, guys. Oh my goodness. All right, I have a perfect I have a perfect one for this. Let's see if this works. Oh no, it's not going to work. I'm trying to make a cringe emoji. All right, here we go. Come on, Fry, you can do this. There. We have successfully created a cringe emoji. <laughs> It is perfect. It is a masterpiece. Oh my gosh, everyone's spamming the Star Sword thing. <laughs> Next. This is just going to be 0 out of 10. He moonlights as a decorative centerpiece during the fall. It's a Thanksgiving reference. I could destroy everything you hold dear. It wouldn't be hard. Yeah dead it wouldn't be hard it's true what they say never get between a grizzly pear and her cub doubly true for zombies no one knows where he came from he just appeared one day but everyone who comes in contact with him feels changed somehow who cares smackadamia wasn't born with smack smarts he studied hard he's a smackademic <laughs> it's actually not bad that one's actually making me slightly chuckle. I'll give it a solid 5 out of 10. And considering all the other crap we've dealt with today, it's actually not bad. He grew up on the wrong side of the garden. Okay. 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 That's a little that's a little shot at like 60s humor, but I'll take it. Wrong side of the railroad tracks. That's my dad always used to say. Anyway, my dad's super racist. The, whoa, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Neither does anything else. Okay, okay. I'll give that. I'll keep that a six out of ten. That's actually not bad. He crowned himself king of all Hollow Earth. No one had the heart to tell him it was actually a parliamentary democracy. I don't. I don't get it. Is that a JoJo reference? That that don't even make any sense. Two out of ten. Makes friends wherever she goes. And we're going back down to zero now. Oops, I forgot to actually turn the cringe rating. Oh, there it is. It just disappeared. Has been gently encouraging Cherry Bomb and Sour Grapes to attend his meditation class. <laughs> See, this is a good one. That's actually a very solid flavor tech. That's meta humor. It's also acknowledging the fact that he is all Zen Soul Patch, and you have two freaking crazy nuts, really, really angry plant cards that could definitely use some anger management. That's a very funny joke. I'm, I'm giving that a nine out of. I bet that's basically as good as it can get. Nine out of ten. Very, very solid for Soul Patch. Ugly shoes not require. <laughs> That's very solid too. It's another 9 out of 10. Get it? It's a bowling joke. That's actually very... See, th this is what they have to do. I think set one had a little bit... I don't know. Some of these were pretty bad. Smackademy. The Smackademy wasn't even that bad, actually. Smackademic. The Mirror Nut. Some of them were pretty mad from set one, but... Seems like the set one actually they were they were Popcat was still trying. Next. He huffs and puffs and occasionally blows a zombie down. That's not bad. That's a pop culture reference. It's a meta joke because he's tiny. That's beautiful. And because he he puffs things. And his name. That's I'm actually giving that one 10 out of 10. Because I think that's as that's basically as good as you can get for Puff Shroom. He has, he, he's had good meetings with a lot of smaller asteroids. They really made an impression. <laughs> uh, that's solid. We'll give that one a six. Six out of ten. Beware fruity vengeance from above. 
Uh, it's, it's lowering. Sometimes it's easier not to cringe at the ones that actually came after a decent one. It's when you get like three cringy ones in a row that it's like you can't even can't even take it. Sometimes we hurt the ones we love. Blooming Heart knows this all too well. Someone's had a difficult relationship. <laughs> it seems like whoever wrote this is like going through a breakup. All the loved ones are just so pessimistic. Jesus. Everyone's always telling her, you're cute as a button. But she's not just cute. She's smart and funny too. It's actually not bad. Also traumatic relationships, but... Hey, we all go through those, don't we? Buntroom's a girl. Guys, I didn't know Buttonshroom was a girl. I guess it makes sense. Buttonshroom is female. These troublemakers are just asking to get grounded. Why though? Grounded? It's like a plant reference. That's so cringe. They tried though, one out of 10. Lava has no loyalty. It's just hot. It just is. What is this a reference to? Oh, it's because it's electric. Oh, because they're electric current, so they get grounded. Mm -hmm. Fine. I'll make that one 3 out of 10. It's not bad. Next. Poison Mushroom. Zombie heroes don't like them. Not one bit. Don't care who knows it either. You never know what the next life has in store for you, she says. It's another she. So get the most out of this one while you can. Existential crisis intensifies. And we're going back down to one out of 10. If I would have prepared for the cringe more, I would have had like just a cringe meter that I'll just be like adjusting. Maybe I'll do that for the zombies. Shrooms bless their hearts. Always want, wanting to cuddle up cuddly like ah the root of all primeval that's not bad that's some that's some nice solid dad joke humor there i'll give that a nice i'll give that an 8 actually i was going to go 7 but the root of all primeval keep it going he only knows one word but it's a good one I don't care for that flavor of text, but it's fine. Vicious and nutritious. It's actually not horrible. Four out of ten. You might know him as the wild from his wildly popular series of workout videos called 30 Days to a Buff Shroom Body. Why? Why? Oh. 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 Oh, 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 I don't get it. Don't touch the floor. The floor is lava. See, this is very unoriginal, but at least they're making a solid pop culture reference. I'm going to have to give this at least five points. It was the obvious joke, the easy target, but at least they nailed it instead of ignoring it like a lot of the other, the other cards that came before this. We'll give that a five. It's the tiny seed of a nobody actually knows. Nobody cares. Legends of Hollow Earth. Could you stop talking about Hollow Earth? No one, that's the most unrelatable thing. Can someone in the chat, what's Hollow Earth? What is it? It's beneath the earth in a big hollow space and it's a plant thing. Like, what does it have to do with the franchise? This, is, this whole Hollow Earth thing is just getting on my nerves. Jeez. Legends of Hollow Earth. Whisper that if you stack up enough shelf shrooms, you'll eventually reach the surface world. <laughs> I don't know why that's making me laugh. I'll give it five points. It's a Lord of the Rings reference. Isn't that Middle Earth, though? I don't get it. Next, <laughs> what one word best describes Wildberry? Unpredictable. Next, uh, cringe meter is going up. 
Now you've done it. That's the last straw. At least they didn't say that's the berry last straw or else I would have just died. I'm going to bury you. Ugh. Two out of ten. He's far out, all right, like way far out. Okay, we're back down to zero, guys. This is all going downhill. We're in galactic set. In the secret grows of hollow earth. Every, you know what, take a shot every time they say hollow earth. I'm going to need one just to survive here. Magnolia's evolved to shun steely stoicism. It's a reference to steel magnolia. Boasting blunt barbarity. Freaking poetry in motion. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, freaking hollow earth. When asked to secret, when asked the secret to fighting zombies, imitator replied, ah, truly a master of his craft. <laughs> I don't get it. This kind of looks like imitator's face though. One out of ten. Call me a weed. Go on. I consider it a compliment. Sometimes beautiful things grow out of the darkest places. Ponder that for a few moments. All right, guys. I think we're at negative one now. This is really, really bad. I'm having, I'm having a lot of regret. There's a few gems here. I guess that make it all worth it, but there's a lot of trash. Leadership comes with a lot of responsibility. But he knew what he signed up for. By the way, that's not a leader of the Mushroom Tribe. He sucks. He only has one health. Guess who's itching for a fight? This guy right here. <laughs> He's itching getting his voice name. Oh my god. I'll give you two out of ten for trying. It's pretty bad though. Believes revenge is best served. Period. You couldn't make a mushroom reference there? Come on, chat. What's the mushroom joke? There's one here. Revenge is best served cold. Re Revenge is best served mold. Come on, it was right there. It was right there. I know it's a fungus. I know it's a fungus, but, but it's right there. Revenge is best served mold. Come on, Popcat. I can do this better. Do you know what? Maybe we're gonna rewrite. Let's rewrite all the flavor text. <laughs> if there's an obvious one, we're gonna think of it. That's a good one, guys. I would have given that 10 out of 10 if that was Revenge's Best Served Mold. Come on. Jesus. <laughs> Just make some new ones. When it's time to fight, he gets pretty juiced. Okay. Okay. Ugh. Three out of 10. It's not bad. It's just right Dedicated pack hunters in Hollow Earth. I don't know. <laughs> One roars a distraction. You roar a distraction? That, that verb doesn't fit there. While the other one strikes from the side. Ugh. Some say that zombies aren't easily shocked. I beg to differ. All right, we're back down to zero out of 10, guys. This is pretty sad. And you thought spinach made you strong. Please. I'm spinach times infinity. This is a very sad day for all the Jews. I just wanted to point that out. I just changed the whole thing out. Why am I moving my background around? Come on, Fry. All right, next. It's cute how they're always completing each other's sentences. This was written by... <laughs> By a woman. I'm sorry, but it's true. Come on. Come on, guys. <laughs> I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm saying it's it's too obvious. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Peter's Piper Peter Piper's Planet. Precautiously. Oh my god, I'm loving this one. Peter Piper's Planet precautiously picked a pair of pickled pepper peppered pears. I'm giving that one eight out of ten. I like it. I don't, it could have gone better than Peter Piper though. Like that's too, I guess it's a pop culture reference. All right, guys, I need to share with you the best tongue twister of all time. Just in honor of this, just as a side note, here it is. I'm not going to explain 
Here it is. I'm going to say it one time. You try to say it after me, okay? A skunk sat on a stump, like a tree stump, okay? So a skunk sat on a stump. The stump thunk, the skunk stunk. But the skunk thunk, the stump stunk. Try to say it. It's impossible. I practiced that one million times. For when it's time to turn over a new leaf. Five out of ten. Thank you for trying. It's nothing personal. She just prefers the company of other pine clones. How about like, just make some kind of hive mind freaking... <laughs> How about like for mother for mother Busha or something like that? Like make a make a make a make a, make a communist reference or something. I don't know something. <laughs> Just write the KBG, KGB is everywhere. Anyway. Sergeant Strongberry. He's intense, sure, but he just wants berries to be all they can be. We're descending into the depths of cringe. For coming back, guys. Victory faster than the speed of sound. Because it's Sonic Blue. Make the actual Street Fighter reference that this is supposed to. What is the guy, what is what is the guy saying Street Fighter when he shoots a sonic sonic boom? It's a... Uh, I must say something. I'm not a Street Fighter expert. It's a it's a it's this one that's the the guy with the you know, whatever his name is. Anyway. Sour, bitter, resentful. It's all true. But he's got his reasons. Is it he? By Heisenberg. Oh, we're back to zero, by the way. That was cringe. By Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, if you look at a plant too closely, you actually change what the plant is. We're getting into quantum physics, folks. Remember, never, ever, ever sp split a fruit? Never split a fruit. I thought it was going to be spit on a fruit. Oh, hold on. Actually, fruits are okay. Just never split an atom. Wow. They made me read all of that just to make a very, very bad. We're, we're, we're getting into like ultimate cringe mode now. Loves to make zombies sing the blues. Okay. That's actually not horrible because... He's blue, and he makes them sing the blues, and it's a reference to because if you sing the blues, and you're sad. I'll give that three out of ten just for trying. Does she strike a random zombie with her lightning, really, or is she settling on settling an old unspoken score? Oh, is it random or not? They just sort of wrote "die insect." If they would have written the words "just die insect" here, that would have been eleven out of ten. Mine was better from the Honest trailer. Some seem as depressed, but he's got a lot of sides. <laughs> Two out of ten. Nice try. I try to stay cool, I really do, but zombies! Man, they make me blow my top! Gonna blow your mom. Jesus. Incredibly hot and full of electricity so much ouch explode detonate explodinate all right we're getting to a whole nother level of cringe here this was an original plant too i bet this had a better flavored text than the original plants versus i here let's look, look up i'm gonna look up the original plants versus zombies it's cherry bomb PVZ flavored text. What was the original flavor? This is going to be better. It's going to say here. Let's read it. Cherry bombs can blow up all the zombies in the area. Wait. I want to explode, says cherry number one. No, it's dead instead, says his brother. Cherry number two. Says his brother, cherry number two, after intense consultation, they agreed to explode in a. See, that's actually better. They just literally copied the flavor text from PVZ1 and ruined it. This doesn't make sense. Now they're making it into a diet. The one from PVZ1, it wasn't a great joke, but at least it worked. This doesn't work at all. This doesn't have any comedic timing. This has the comedic timing of like Dr. Seuss. But anyway. 
It's the same joke. It's all about execution, guys. He's developed a taste for zombie heroes. Make a Lion King reference. Say like his like his dad got killed by zombies and he's coming back to, I don't know, reclaim his... Make something. Jesus. Gets lunch with poison ivy and poison mushroom every week. They have a lot to talk about. I'm dying. Everyone's always asking why so angry. Because zombies. Sheesh. Obviously. What he lacks in a sense of humor, he makes up with attitude. And <laughs> dual cob busters. See, that's not bad. That's actually pretty good. We're getting back somewhere. We'll get back to, I don't know, I guess three out of ten for that. We're getting somewhere. It's not great. Okay, we're into Mega Grow now. Oh my gosh. How many classes? Are I've only done two classes. We're not even halfway done with this crap. Oh my God. Okay, I'm flipping through these really quick. I'm not raiding anymore. I'm turning this crap off. We're just going to be flipping through these one at a time and reading them and try not to cringe. I, this is taking too long. A slapstick comedy staple that somehow the zombies never see coming. Not bad. Probably two. Get, little known fact. He used to have two teeth. <laughs> That's a good one. This is actually a good one. This is a great flavor text. That's eight out of ten. On Wednesdays, we wear sunglasses. We need a leap. We need a leap. It's cringe. Hey Fry, hope all is well. Thank you, 254 Martinez. Real appreciate it. It looks like my chat froze for some reason. I guess I'll refresh my Chrome browser. It's probably just died when I decided to open up a new Chrome browser. Twitch is so dead. Oh, there. There we go. La, 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 la. All right, half banana. When destroyed, all bananas in your hand get. Oh, I'm reading the, the ability instead of the text. Have you met my better half? She's around here somewhere. A real extrovert, this one. Sometimes they squabble, but they usually get along like five peas in a pod. Started fighting zombies in 2009 and never stopped. Da, da, da. If it weren't surrounded by cringe, this would be okay, I guess. Loves unicorns and rainbows and watching cats on the internet. Ah, That's actually not bad. Four out of ten. Feel the burn. I command you, Zero. She's not very fond of getting wet. You should have seen the other guy. See, this is a good one. This is perfect. That's a 9 out of 10. That's a good flavor text. You should have seen the other guy. Plus his black IP. This works. This is like the full package. I like it. Coleslaw from above. What is this a reference to? Nothing? Just like 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 destruction from above, but it's coleslaw instead. It's not even it doesn't even rhyme. Zero. Nothing wakes you up in the morning like extra attacks on zombies. Well, okay, coffee does. He'll grow on you. Just give him time. It's like a 2 out of 10. Is it getting hot in here? <laughs> or is it just me? They could have gone a little bit more. <laughs> it's getting hot in here. So take off all of your cones. <laughs> that would have been so good. Guys, that would have been so great. That would have been so Come on, guys. That would have been 10 out of 10. That was, oh, I'm so proud of myself. I literally thought of that on the spot. Yes, nailed it. Holy crap. That would have been so, it's, oh, Jesus. They'll hire me for the next game. <laughs> oh, crap. I don't know if that would make it through the, uh, the, what's it called? The EA like regulations. What's it called? What's, what's the guy, uh, ethics and practices. I don't know if that would make it through, but why not? All right. She's always trying to elevate her friends. She's good like that. I can't even think of anything for that. Don't let the dog walker anywhere near it. Is this a reference to PvZ2 that the dog would eat the pea patch? I know in PvZ3, like, Dog Walker, like, eats eats certain things, but I don't know. Oh, because it's a pea patch. Oh, <laughs> I didn't get it. 
I don't let dog walk or anywhere near. Okay, that's actually a lot better than I thought. Get it? Because it's a pee patch. Is that really what they're going for here? That's not bad. <laughs> that's not bad at all. Hmm. Eight out of ten. I didn't even get it. All I wanted in life was to get ahead, but it kind of grew on me. <laughs> it's like, thanks for trying, but how to face the future? I'm of two minds. Okay, never mind. It went down to one out of ten. Zombies may only have four teeth left, but one of them is a sweet tooth. You could have, like, made some, um, I don't know environmentalism at its finest. Maybe we should just go through and actually write new flavor text for all of these. Environmentalism at its finest? Is there something like deeper than just saying it's... I don't get it. He steered his crew through many a pickle. <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> I like that one. Uh... 7 out of 10. The cosmos is so big. Isn't it R? Because isn't cosmos plural? Maybe not. It's probably singular. It's so big and a P is so small. The juxtaposition just really makes me think, you know? At least they use the word juxtaposition. That's a cool word. Stinky sure, but powerful stuff. Ask any plan. Call the growth spurt. A dinosaur's favorite primordial snack. She's always bringing out the best in others. Aww. She and Sunflower are besties. It's just too bad their schedules make it hard for them to get together. Oh, because it's moon and sun? Jesus. Can you spot me, bro? How about it was almost kicked off the lawn for using too much fertilizer or something? Make, a, make something witty there. Yes, yes, let's do this. Let's do this. Why? How about has severe OCD? <laughs> that wouldn't be nice. That wouldn't be, that wouldn't be polite. Because he said the same thing twice, so it's repeat moss on Peter. Jesus. It ain't easy keeping up with the peas in this family. Uh, I'd be like, Ugh, Santino, what is gonna become of you? When are you gonna grow up? Ugh. How come they couldn't do that? They had to go with peas in this family. What is, what is the peas that rhyme with something here? Everyone's magic in their own special way. Everyone except me. Make some kind of like, <laughs> make some kind of reference. Say like it was, this is what happened when you actually, when you actually sell your cow for a bunch of beans or something like that. But anyway, I know it's not the magic bean stock. It's a typical one. Uh, I don't want to brag, but hanging out in a tub full of ice cream all day, not a bad gig if you can get it. She's a banana first and a dinosaur second, but it's a close second. The most important meal of the day. Do the token plants actually have a have a flavored text? How do you even find them? The most important meal of the day. To do what I do, it's tricky. I'll leave it at that. Oh. I'm gonna die. I'm about to vomit. Neptuna planned her Triassic invasion perfectly, but like so many conquerors before her, she underestimated the spinach. Make a Popeye reference. Just say we'll make we'll make your garden strong as well as sailors or something. I don't know. Jeez, could have done better than Neptuna's invasion. The youngest pea shooter ever to earn a pilot's license. Also the only pea shooter to ever earn <laughs> a pilot's license. That's not bad. It's a 7 out of 10. PVZ doesn't need lore. I, I feel like the whole satirical nature of PVZ is just how random it is. You don't need an explanation of why zombies 
Did no one, how did the zombie apocalypse start? Anybody? That's what I thought. It's not supposed to have an explanation. There is no problem that cannot be solved with, by more peas. I um, should make a lore synergy deck. So powerful it makes you cry. That's okay. That's okay. She's a giver, no doubt. But she feels like she gets a lot out of it, too. Because she grows when she... I don't know. They're just trying to create peas in our time. <clears throat> Three out of ten. She loves living out of a pot. It's not for every plant, but to her, it's home. What? How about likes to stay home all day and get high? That would have been a good one. <laughs> her mother thinks she should be doing something with her life, finally. She needs to grow the hell up. It may seem... In inhospitable place for plants, but with a little tender loving care and some patience, it'll grow more than just potatoes. Much more. That's like an attempt at lore. Get along, little zombie. Get along. Is this a a reference to like a like Indiana Jones or I don't know who had the whip? I don't know what this is from. They should have made a Bulbasaur reference though. Some potatoes are sweet. Others are dinosaurs. Used to have three teeth. Uh. Only among the hyper-evolved plants of hollow earth can you be outwitted by a tree. No. No one's actually... It's bamboozle, get it? But no one's actually outwitted by this because it's like one of the worst cards in the game. When he drops a beat, everyone feels it, especially the zombies. He could have made like a... um. Could have made a joke to his, to his earphones or something. Don't consume after 5 p.m. You'll be up all night. Okay, we're up to Smarty. We're almost done. <laughs> heavy is the weight of command. And my cap. Heavy is the cap. What? Does that mean anything? Turn up the beat. See, that would have been good. Someone has got it in the chat. Who is this? Who said that? Supersonic. Turn up the beat. That would have been fine. That would have been a great... That would have been solid. That would have absolutely been solid. Anyway, we're up to Ice Age, baby. <laughs> Come on. Kill it. That's supposed to be four. Freeze. I was kidding. Little iceberg humor there. Uh... When Neptuna's Triassic invasion flooded Hollow Earth with vast new oceans, plants quickly evolved to survive. I'm so sad. Sometimes one plant provides both the army and the navy. He loves Venus flytrap, but sometimes they see things so differently. Found in groups of 3, 5, 7, 11, and 31. That's a good one. Except that you missed 23 and and 17 and a couple other ones there. But that's fine. That's okay. Because they're all prime numbers. Get it? Get it? It's actually a joke. It actually means something. Finally. And 13. Everyone's like, prime go 11. Oh, they said 11. Ordinance is... How come they missed... How did they actually miss 13 and 17 here and 23? Anybody? It's prime numbers and two for that matter. Anyway, ordinances, do they have different flavor text in Spanish? I bet it's even worse. <laughs> some of the words, some of the ones in Spanish, they're just direct translations. They don't mean anything. Some of these don't mean anything either. Ordinance is most effective with peanut butter and raisins. Okay. Zombies are always looking at her with a frozen expression. Okay. 
You can't hide anything from her. Don't even try. She'll get inside your head. Head? Why is the word head in all caps? Can I say it, baby? Prefers to be called vertically challenged beanie. That's a solid flavor text. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Good for plants it is. Good for zombies it is not. It is a magical fruit. <laughs> this is 10 out of 10. That is, t this is a galactic card too. 10 out of 10. Did I miss the Yoda reference? Oh, good for plants it is. Good for zombies it is not. Okay, because it was a bog, because that's where he lived, by the bog. Okay, fine, we'll give this some points. I didn't get it. This is a reference to the Simpsons, beans, beans are the musical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. <laughs> good is my Yoda, is my Yoda voice. Does that even sound good? I haven't listened to that back. It sounds good to my ears, but usually when you say something, it sounds different. All right, warning, don't flick the gravestones in real life. Oh, thank you. He's really good at entertaining himself. Why? Oh, because he, he has a laser beam attached. This is pretty deep, but he has a laser beam attached to his tail, and he's a cat. And the cat, if you do that to a cat in real life, they'll actually chase the laser. They love chasing laser. This is pretty solid, actually. I like this. Not bad. Not bad, you are. Okay, I do it for the shock value. It makes it extra cringe when the card is cringe too. Has codependency issues, but he's working on it. Okay, okay. Without flying roots, how would we get sky trees? Sky trees? Does that mean something I don't get? And there's two question marks. Does this, does anyone get this? It's not a reference to anything. Learned everything he knows during the great freeze tag wars of 08. Why? Why? <laughs> Let's just compare this to the wire. We're going to look it up. It's going to be, um, it's going to be Snow P, PVZ. Let's look up the actual flavor text from the original. Here we go. Folks often tell Snoopy how cool he is or exhort him to chill out. They tell him to stay frosty. Snoopy just rolls his eyes. He's heard them all. So that's better. That's way better than the stupid freaking freeze tag. Jesus. Okay. Totally worth the cow. All right. I'll give it to them. They should have gone there with the typical beanstalk, though. My secret weapon, it's my cute little hat. <laughs> he does have a cute little hat. He's so cute. It's not easy being hot, being both hot and cold. A comfortable lukewarm might be nice for a change. Jesus. Chance of meeting gravestones? Never tell me the odds. Is this a Han Solo reference, though? It's been so long since I've watched Star Wars. Is this if, if this is a Han Solo reference, it's fine. What was the original? Chance of meeting... What? What was the original quote? I'll have to look it up. Chance of surviving a meteor shower, never tell me the odds. Of making it through an asteroid belt. Oh, God. I think they probably could have, um, they could have taken a crack like at like, is secretly in love with Princess La, I don't know, they could have done, oh, anyway. Grow nuts, throw nuts. When we get big, we go nuts. Go plants. 
<laughs> There's so many cheerleading jokes you could make here. There's so many. There's so many. I can't even. I'm not going to say them, but <laughs> keep it going. Do April showers bring, bring May flowers? My goodness, isn't that a personal question? Is this an innuendo or what? I'm sorry where my mind went when they said it's a personal question. Anyway, is the chat lagging on the screen now? I guess I'll just restart it. Uh. It'll come back soon. How this planet came to be, it's another of life's great grape mysteries. Make an actual Planet of the Apes reference, though. I don't know. Take the line when he finally saw the Statue of Liberty. I don't know what he said in the movie. We're like, no! He puts the rad in radish. They could have done that with a lot of these. Just that wasn't a good one. I am Sporticus. Unoriginal. His favorite season is fall. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Get it? It's not bad. I'm sorry. I'm just, I have nothing interesting to say. Oh, poor vanilla. Every bean is accounted for. I assure you, they all add up. Jesus. His artillery is a rich source of vitamin A and beta carotene. A fact the zombies do not seem to appreciate. I know vanilla has no ability. That's the whole point of the name. It's self-explanatory. You should have just put like, yeah... <laughs> The most unkinky plant ever. <laughs> that would be better. Uh, anyway. Did I do jelly bean yet? I think I skipped jelly bean. It's supposed to be family friendly. It's not how hard the zombies knock you down. It's hard how, how hard you bounce back. How about these guys are a dime a dozen? Do something with that. I don't know. Jesus. You want to keep your lawn tidy? Tired of looking at those unsightly zombies? Then I'm your guy. <sighs> was this was this close to becoming an army bean? What does a navy bean reference do anyway? Is she cute or terrifying? Yes. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? What is this a reference to? Like Army of Darkness or something? I'm a dragon. I'm a plant. I'm a mystery. It's Indiana Jones. Okay. I know the chat's still glitch. You're just going to have to wait for Streamlabs to wake up. I know you guys aren't on the stream and it's making you feel bad. But nothing I can do about it. My complexion... Is more of a summer? What? <laughs> Zombies are always trying to build a bridge out of her. Trying to build a bridge out of her? What is that a reference to? Because she's a witch? Monty Python? I saw the Holy Grail. When were they trying to build a bridge out of a witch? Anyway. Her beautiful melodies are echoed by the roars of dinosaurs. <laughs> Becky, let me smash. That would have been better. But that, was, that happened after. So, No exaggeration she is always in a great mood even when fighting zombies that's what's not to love about saving the world she says okay
I need to say she has a big crush on mistletoe. I'm more than just a jumper. I can also leap and vault. What does that mean? It's a jumping joke? <laughs> They're taking cracks at jumping humor. People who live in grass houses shouldn't throw stones, but melons? Sure, why not? At least they tried. Like, if these were the, the lower tier ones and there was actually some really solid ones, I would be okay, because then this would be fun. But it's like, when this is, like, above average, it's just, uh, that itself is cringe. When you see a shooting star fruit, make a wish, any wish. Any wish that involves taking down zombies, that is. But then you'll turn into a real boy. How about when zombies see shooting star fruit, they wish they would turn into a real boy? If I had a hammer, wait a second, I am a hammer. Hmm. Rick and Morty reference. My favorite number is five. Okay. Okay. See, my favorite number is five. I'm pretty sure if you look at three Peter. Her flavor text was in the original one. Oh, come on. I'm always on the wrong page here. Where's the real page? Here it is. 3 Peter loves playing multiplayer in video games, but split screen never works because her left head always cheats. This must be from PVZ2. That's still better than this one. I think the old reference was like, it wasn't my favorite number is five, is little known fact her favorite number is five or something like that. In this case, brain drain is a good thing. He dates a lot of different branches, but nothing ever sticks. Traumatic. Labor to keep alive in your breast that little, that little spark of celestial fire called conscience. Gord Squashington. Because he's wearing George Washington hat, and this was a bruh. Why don't you just say doesn't chop down cherry trees? That would be good. You get it? Because it's winter melon, perfect for your winter picnics. Okay, I see the irony. Their ancestors were hunted to the depths of space. Now their descendants are back for cold, fruity vengeance. Your mom's a fruit. Presto changeo! Now you see a powerful zombie. Now you don't. I don't think that's what the great Houdini said. I feel like this really dishonors him. Wait, you want me to go in front? Okay, this is solid. This is okay. This is definitely works. She wants to be friends with Snowdrop so badly, simp. But she feels like she's always getting the cold shoulder. He's Peel de Grace Lichen's biggest fan. I don't get it. Someone explain that one to me. For generations, the pumpkins have kept their realm safe from a terrible curse. Tonight, they finally face their greatest fear. Lore. Insert corny joke here. So this is fine. Meta humor. It's okay. Just don't talk to her before she's had her coffee bean. Because it's a morning glory. Neil deGrace Tyson. So it's peel. Oh my gosh. This is so convoluted here. Okay. So it's peel deGrace Lichen. Neil de Gracie Tyson's biggest fan, but why is it Cosmos? What does it have to do with Cosmos? It's pronounced lichen, okay. This is a, a, a plant of some sort. But what does it have to do with Cosmos?
He's an astronomer. We need a leap. We need a leap. Oh, because he's an astrophysicist. Cosmos okay. is Neil deGrasse Tyson's TV show. Okay, I get it. I get it. I'm stupid. <laughs> I saw him once on Joe Rogan. I don't really know who he is, though. Just, um, <laughs> I remember he was the guy when Trump made the Space Force. Everyone was like, hey, it's such a joke. He was like, actually, the Space Force has been around for a really long time. And this was not Trump's idea. And they're like, uh, are you sure? Just don't talk to her before she's had her coffee bean. Some flowers are notorious pacifists, but isolated in the... Oh my gosh, I'm just still skipping this. Not to brag, but I'm pretty much your basic franchise founding superstar. <sighs> Such meta humor. Watchful quasar wizards sometimes spot an unidentified fruiting object. <sighs> really good at staring contest? This is fine. That's okay. I'm like the wind near a hog farm. <laughs> this is solid. This is a good one. I like this one. Hello, freaking earth. To toast your health and mine. How makes the makes the world taste better? I don't know. Gotta start writing messages for fortune cookies. Okay. R writing. I don't know. I just wrote the, said the word his in there. Fun in the sun? That's for other plants. I just make the stuff. I don't actually enjoy it. We actually, we're actually only fraternal twins. Okay. You're gonna need a towel for this one. <laughs> that's what that's what he said. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. See. <laughs> Significantly better than the third best taco of all time. Okay. She enjoys the simple things in life. <laughs> Fry the kids. I love the chat. The chat delay. It's so great. Um. <laughs> Whoa. She enjoys the simple things in life. Hanging out with friends, fighting zombies, and basking in cosmic rays cares i just love to get zombies all fired up if you catch my drift no i don't get it ketchup mechanics helps you get back in a game when you're behind ketchup mechanics fix your fruit <laughs> what i know this one they spell correctly and this one well ketchup and then catch up. I know that was the joke, but I don't get it. Zombies may appear closer than they are because it's a magnifying glass. That's the little message they put in in side view mirrors on cars. I don't get it. They work hard, but they also like to party. That's them in a nutshell. There's something in the wind, sunflower seeds, in fact. From every night's end comes the beginning of a new sunflower's dawn. Some quote from some guy. Compared to his little brother, he's the one with the sunnier disposition. Mom always said, if you leave your trap open like that, you'll catch zombies, so I did. Someone clip that. It's hammer time, hashtag has to be said. See, this is fine. This is okay. This is a 90s reference. <laughs> Magnets, gravity, crikey. I don't have a clue why they can't why they come back. The the boomerangs? A free buffet, how kind, don't mind if I do. He makes yelling, get off my lung into an art form. <laughs> yes, 
Yes, 10 out of 10. For Elderberry, this is so great. This is, this is some top tier. This is a 10, are you kidding me? Damn, look at the beard and everything. Oh man, that's so good. Is this actually supposed to be a shotgun? <laughs> the staff, he should definitely be holding a shotgun. Anyway, quality. She's a sweetheart, she really is. But fighting zombies, it's made her hard. Like hard to choke, like hard to choke, hard to choke hard. The thing of zombie nightmares. Okay, okay. At least he said something. Time to put the metal to the pedal, baby. <laughs> okay. Each plant is grown with the power of solar radiation. Sometimes you just have to let it out. That's what your mom said to your dad. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. Um, not far from Mercury fly planet. Okay. Fly trap planet. All right. Nice try. Um, <laughs> some of these are easy targets for the your mom jokes guys firmly believes that Elvis is alive zombies never walked on the moon and that Dr. Zombus is secretly studying aliens in area 22 crazy wing nut looks like a nut what is this a reference to other than an actual wing nut, though? What does this have to do with conspiracy theory? Is this actually a name? Like, a, is wing nut actually a reference to someone who, like, believes in stuff like that? I'm looking up Ur Urban Dictionary wing nut because I'm, I'm familiar. It's ideological extremists from either side of the political spectrum who unquestionably repeats... <laughs> Any and all propaganda or conspiracy theories propagated by their side of the political spectrum, no matter how unlikely. Okay, I get it. I didn't know that was a thing. A roaring f force of life. Oh, yeah, and also Trump colluded with the Russians. They forgot that one. Um, oh, I sound like such a Trump supporter. I'm just so sick and tired of the stupid, dumb, false accusations of the politics nowadays. Stupid. Dumb. Alex Jones. I should have just yelled. It's constantly yelling, you zombies, you made all the frogs gay. That would be great. A roaring force of life. A crushing force of destruction. That was an Alex Jones reference, by the way, the, the gay frogs thing. Holy guacamole. I didn't realize that astrocado and, and guacadale are actually the same fruit. You mess with the rose, you get the thorns. Dropped out of Cale University to practice natural medicine. Ooh, too soon. Has a bad case of resting squash face. <laughs> That's not bad. That's quality. That's 8 out of 10 at least. <laughs> Look at that face. He focuses his fearsome fire powder with a single ringing credo. One team, one dream. Physics, baby. I'm emitting all kinds of coherent radiation. Sure, he and Squash are pals, but there's always an undercurrent of competition between them. He comes from a long line of very precise cucumbers. Because it's tactical. You know the old saying, three heads are better than one? Totally true. Toadstool can't stand being idle. When there's work to be done, she's always the first to hop on it. Your hero will feel out of this world, and so will your skin. Okay, that's okay. I think this is the last one. Thanksgiving came early this year, baby! Eh. Alright guys, that's all the flavored text. There's a lot of cringe. I didn't actually think it would be this cringy. But there are some definite gems in here. There's some solid stuff. Uh, I don't. I don't know if I'm ever gonna have the time to actually go through all these cards and write write some new flavored text for them together with you guys. It just seems like a lot of work, which is never gonna. I would do that with you if PopCap was gonna change the flavored text on some of these cards. I think the Fire P was definitely the best one though. 
I don't, I don't know what your opinion is on the subject matter at hand. Alright guys, that was the flavor text for the plants. I guess we'll do this for the zombies at some point too. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace, this is Fry.